Hey guys, it's Jake here with eTrailer. Today I'm gonna to walk you through um, a common question that we get a lot of times here at eTrailer is how to light your stove and how to light the pilot light on your oven itself. So to light your stove, it's gonna be very similar if you have a um, any other propane appliances in your house or um, like a fire pit outside. Uh, what you're gonna to wanna to do is first you wanna make sure your propane is on outside and you're going to push the knob in, have your lighter ready. You can use a sparker. Um, I prefer a lighter because I can actually see the flame. Um, make sure your lighter is on then push the knob in and turn slowly until it gets to light. And then you know it's lit. And then you can turn it to whatever setting um, that you desire. But you do that with all of your stoves or all your burners the same way. Now what I found out here um, is that it took a little bit for, for the propane to actually get to the lines. It was full of air. Um, and you wanna just be patient because you'll see the flame flickering a little bit um, and that's just the air coming out of the line. So be patient, um, the gas will get to it, but you do wanna make sure you're properly venting it um, whether that means having a door open on your camper like I do here. Um, you just don't want to have these fumes um, or the gas itself if you're having trouble lighting it. Um, or you can always turn your fan on. Um, and if you turn your fan on, you want to make sure your vent outside is open um, so that you can get those fumes out of your camper um, so you don't harm anybody inside. So when it comes to lighting your oven, um, it's going to be a little bit different. If you can see down here, it might be a little bit difficult to see. Back here, we have our pilot light, um, the little spout here that our gas will come out of. And then right above it, there's a thermal couple. Well, the thermal couple is what's going to open up the valve so that a very small amount of gas can come through um, to be able to stay lit so that you don't have to come under here and light the oven every time you want to use it if you're on a weekend trip. On your oven knob, you will see um, there should be an option for a pilot light, which you can see right here. Um, that is the setting that we're gonna be working on um, to be able to get it lit for the first time. So what you'll do is you'll turn it. You'll have to push in. Typically you can't turn it without pushing in. Turn it to the pilot light option, but you wanna push in on this knob to activate the thermal cup. So we'll hold it in. And again, it may take a little bit for your gas to get to. It may take between five and 30 seconds. As you can see there, our pilot light is lit. Might be a little difficult to see, but you can see a small little blue flame in there. And that is our pilot light. So then from here, it's simple. You can just turn it up to whatever temperature you want and you'll see that it lights it lights the flame itself. You can see our oven's on, nice and hot. Um, but then when you go to turn it off, you don't wanna turn it all the way off. You just wanna turn it back to the pilot option. Typically there is a stop for the pilot. You can see here, I can't turn it off unless I were to push it in again and turn it off. So, my recommendation is if you're not gonna be with your camper, um, I would turn the pilot light off. It was me personally. Um, if you're gonna kind of be hanging around the campsite for the weekend, you can of course leave it on if you're gonna be using the oven a lot. But if you're not using the oven a lot, just for one-time use, I would go ahead and light the pilot light, turn your oven on, and then shut everything off when you're done. If you have any questions about these products or what upgrades would be good for you and your setup, please feel free to reach out. See you later.